everyone. I hope you are enjoying the conference and thank you for having me here. As Mike says, I'm here to tell you a really good story. I will, I'm going to talk about JavaScript and IoT. Um, I'm Carol Ladino, an engineer in robotics and industrial automation. I live in Colombia. I am a lover of hardware and love stories. You can find me everywhere as Carobot CO and feel free to send me a direct message. This is a nice story that I have to do that I have for you today. So let's get started. How does a love story work? It needs four important and basic components. The first one is characters, the protagonists involved in our, sto in our love story. In this case, we have two. Uh, second one, an environment or main setting where the things happen. The third one is the projected wishes or where the relationship will go, how the characters can grow and what they will be created together. And the last one, the fourth one, is mutual support, to know that they will be there for each other forever. So I wish that it was as easy as, easy that this kitty looking for a Tinder match. Uh, our first character is Arduino, a super sexy boy that came up in 2010 and was the answer to the need for a new hardware platform where anyone can develop a quickly and easy project. It completely transformed the paradigm of a hardware creation. Well, back in then, it was true that only people had a very strong background in engineering could develop hardware. Arduino opened the doors of hardware to anyone who is curious to explore within the branch by giving them access to many disciplines of creating and applying the use of sensors and actuators in their projects. Well, let's answer these two questions. Why? Why did Arduino change the history like this? It opened the opportunity to create to, for everyone, anyone in the ecosystem can play with lights, LEDs, motors, and sensors to explore the environment in an easy, fast, and safe way, which means that anyone, regardless of the technical background, can immerse themselves in this discipline. The documentation is reachable, and the learning curve is fast. This is something very valuable, and well, it is love transforming into documentation. But how? How did they do that? They achieved, achieved a very visual and friendly platform, an EAD, for people without prior knowledge. This is a completely development environment where people can access to examples, code, boards, code validation, and upload the code to the board just in one place. Let's not forget and repeat that this pure love is the pure love is in the documentation and the generation of tutorials by the community itself. A giant community in a constant growth as support from multiple disciplines and perspectives. Our second character in this history is JavaScript. This programming language through the web, through for the web, and demanded such a such levels that it shakes the industry in interesting ways every time that a new framework comes out. JavaScript had the need in 2011 to communicate with the physical world through the serial port. This led to the subsequent development of a framework that will become the platform for the construction of thousands of projects, where based hardware is born. The beautiful Journey 5 illustration that uh, was made by Mike Seeger, and I will leave you the, the link here so you can check his website. Those illustrators illustrations are another love story. Uh, let's answer these questions again. Why did this happen? They need to connect the web with the reality that surround us. This is to expand all the ideas and applications that were being generated on the web, and that could interact with the, with the real world. A new hardware communication path was created, a new way to reach the same common goal. And how? Expanding a high using language on the web to be used in a hardware as well. It is like speaking a language understood by everyone in different parts of the world. It is like speaking the same language to the communicate with different parties that make up solutions connected to the web. The first step was supported in serial communications. Then everything expanded to different peripheries. So who is who in our love story? The steel monkey represents JavaScript, and the second one and the running monkey represents hardware. And why so? Because we also need someone to take off, to change our ideas and to broaden our impact. The union of JavaScript and its applications in hardware 
pushes the community to explore development and well, we already know what happens when we feel supported. Everything turns, turns out beautiful. Where do uh, two characters intertwine? What is the meeting and joining point? This is not just working on producing something or creating something, but on articulating so that is all the tools and items are well documented, documented for later use. This is when the IoT wars appears. It becomes our environment so that the love story continues to flow. The creation of these types of frameworks has historically increased the demand, the demand for IoT considerably. This merge ended up being a new way to feed the IoT field in the spatial of the ecosystem to our day to day. So here we can see a little more of about the relationship for our characters in the environment. This is two-way communication from Arduino and the PC through the serial port. Let's look at Arduino, at Arduino and see what makes this work. There is something called Firmata. This is a generic protocol that allows us to communicate with microcontrollers, with software on a computer. You may tax or check the active things, expand the measures that travel in a byte, deliver and packet data package to the pins, and also transmit the states to the controller program. This implementation of this protocol to JavaScript uh, took place in 2012. And its maintenance and review on different types of boards are what have made everything becomes possible. On the PC side, we need few, a few more things. We have the transport, and this is done through the port to the serial port. Through this port, the necessary connection is made as well as data transmission and reception, TX and REX. IO is input and output. This is where the film data comes up, and we already know how it works. After this, we have the program. This is where Johnny 5 comes up with the lightning in and all. Is where we find the high level API where we can quickly analyze any kind of supported board and we have the complete control of our computer of my of our microcontroller. Uh, so we need to talk about the projected wish. This is the third step. When Arduino on behalf of the hardware and JavaScript on behalf of the web come together to expand what we have already seen. This is the need to integrate more uh, with our physical reality. From the simplest to the most complex, connected connect to the network, measure, visualize it, and act based on what our sensors acquire. This is literally to take the information to the environment and measure our existence, making decisions based on that. I see this like a very interesting future. What hardware has done is taking more strength, taking the role in it, deserving the industry. Just as we need software, we need, so we need hardware as well. This is our main love story. Who doesn't want this at home? Well, besides Tony Stark, of course, this is also the response of human, human ambition as an ecosystem. This is the response of human ambition as a reason to continue creating. Technology is the path we, by which we span our reality and music with virtuality. It is good to finally connect everything to the network, but connect it with sense, control, and security. Well, we are now on the fourth and final part of the, what it takes for a love story this to happen, like this to happen. The hello world in a hardware is a blink, is a, is a blink deck, a, LED, a LED. The best way to start falling in love with JavaScript and hardware is here. Here begins the exploration and will be quickly realize how it is, how it is. You need just three things. The materials that I wish everyone had the change to buy quickly, but it is not very easy. Little by little, you can stock yourself. The second one is the schematic. This is the map that shows us where and what to connect. Without this, we cannot live. And this is the best way to communicate about hardware with another as well. The code, here is a link uh, in Hello World uh, that will take you directly to the Johnny 5 documentation and get it started. And boom, you finally have a beautiful LED blinking just for you. Uh, this section also called mutual support, right? And this is the purest and the most collective definition of what support it is, or means, is the community. The community feeds from anyone, any, anywhere in the world, shares the necessary items 
the schematics, the code, the materials, the problems and the solutions, and interacts by asking and looking for a mutual solutions. There is three places where we normally search. Uh, here is the link of Haster, Haster.io, where the, all the projects that you can imagine are there. And where I am, uh, um, where I am sure that any one of you want to contribute with your proper your own ideas. Also, you can search for a local meetup. And now in these new and weird times, you can find many online events with a lot of information. And here is also the GitHub repo, where we can see the numbers of contributors and the numbers of users on this framework. Please click on the start repo. This is the meaning of mutual support. Ah well. We are here to get, we are together. We understand, we are trying to understand each other. We celebrate important days. And today we're celebrating the web, the time we spend on it, and the change it's made in our life. The idea is not to be those laws in our spaces. On the contrary, it's to merge with the right knowledge, uh, with the right people to achieve maximum gratifications. And I mean mental gratifications, because if our minds are fine, everything will be fine. Here's a pack of resources that I researched for you. In each of these links, you will be able to span information. No matter your level, this is a set of resources that I will that will span your horizons. I hope you make it the most of it. Finally, we will see examples on different on different disciplines and industry that the use of hardware has shown. The first one, here you can see a prototype of a skill with light. Anyone can do this and customize the clothes and do it quickly and just for fun. I really love it. The second one is a sumo competition. That is famous and a lot of people put their knowledge limits to the rates of this to, to the test, to a test in this event. Have you seen them? There is so much fun. And these hours and hours of these competitions in YouTube. Another project. Now that now the life has changed a bit, and there is more people moving around in bikes, we can pimp ours and tune in it, add lights and interact with it while we bike around in the street at night. It's like expanding our vehicle, our vehicle. And here is something that I love to work and to see. Uh, this is alternative controllers to play games that I always accompany us and distract us. Sometimes bringing these interactions to reality makes the games more interesting and involve and increase the interaction. Oh well, this is finally this is for me like the super god level. See how true this board one can control the X and Y axis for this large laser laser coding machine. I don't know how expensive it can be to make a sketch, but here I'm pretty sure this could be a really valuable tool. So Leslie, this is the link for my for my presentation again. I would like to thank you, the organizers, and also my friends and all the people who helped me to be here today. And I really hope you like a lot and hope to see you in person someday.